Chico City Council made their selections for who will fill the two vacant seats left by former council member Scott Huber and Cammie Denley tonight. Action News Now reporter Carmela Karcher was at the meeting and tells us who the council selected. City Council officially selected former police chief Michael Bryan and longtime Chico resident Dale Bennett to be the next council members. Tuesday night, council met to vote on the remaining six nominees to fill the two vacancies. Council was able to ask more detailed questions to each nominee, mainly revolving around the rise of homelessness within the city and how Chico can provide more affordable housing. Within an hour, the decision was made. Mike O'Brien for the at-large position and Dale Bennett for District 3. I spoke with O'Brien after the vote and he said he understands what the community needs and is ready for the job. Um, I've always served to the best of my ability this community as a uh, chief of police, as a police officer. I did that for almost three decades and now having the opportunity to step in at a time of, uh, I think, of uh, real leadership. Uh, because we lost two council members. I think that's, uh, again, very humbling for me to step in and provide that leadership. But the biggest concern for many is whether or not this nonpartisan council will show their political leanings through their decisions. But O'Brien and Mayor Coolidge said that won't be a problem. You know, other cities in Northern California certainly don't have the controversy that we do. Chico has a history of being a very political city, but I think at the same time that we can get past that. And I really like this council, especially with our new members, to kind of set that tone as we move forward. Well, number one, I'm not a politician, so I was asked to run this last November and it was not the right time for me. I really did not have an interest. My family did not have an interest after serving nearly three decades um, in the city of Chico. And this appointment is for essentially a year and a half. So if I can come in and lend some uh, leadership and experience at this uh, very important time to the city, then I'm willing to do that. I spoke with Bennett after the meeting and he said he'll make a comment once he's sworn in on August 3rd. In Chico, Carmela Karcher, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. So to reach this level of actually being appointed to those seats, the nominees had to get a minimum of three votes from the council, the current five-member council. Both O'Brien and Bennett received four votes.